Well, the Middle East Quartet, that's the U.S., Russia, France and the European Union, has now joined the United Nations in calling for an immediate ceasefire. We can speak now live to Richard Falk, who is the U.N. Special Rapporteur for Human Rights in the Palestinian Territories. Richard Falk, thank you very much for coming through to us. First, can you tell us how you would describe the situation in Gaza right now? I think it's a ghastly situation that has to be understood as having taken place against the background of a very punishing blockade that had already imposed on the population severe shortages of food, medicine, and fuel. These attacks against the defenseless population are something unprecedented in uh, modern warfare, where there is no possible justification illegally, morally, or politically for undertaking acts of this kind. And I think it would be very important for the United Nations, the national community, then this kind of Israeli violence. And of course, it's welcome that there's finally a call for a ceasefire. It should have come immediately, but better late than later. And, and yet, you speak of a defenseless people, and there's no justification for what Israel is doing. Yet, if Hamas militants were not firing rockets from Gaza into southern Israel, there would be no Israeli bombardment, would there? There's surely a case, a sense in which Hamas has brought this on the Palestinians, as Israel says. Uh, I think that's a mistaken understanding of the causal sequence. First of all, there had been not a single Israeli casualty for over a year from any kind of rocket launching. Secondly, it's not clear that the few rockets that had been launched during the ceasefire period were controlled by Hamas. It may be, but it's, the facts are very murky at this point. And thirdly, there is no justification for imposing on an entire population an attack of this sort. Gaza is one of the most densely populated areas in the world. And to hold the whole population in this kind of grip of terror from modern warfare is absolutely unacceptable from the perspective of international humanitarian law and international criminal law. Uh, Mr. Fogg, if I can just ask you, uh, leaving aside whatever justifications there may or may not be, Israel's stated aim is to change the facts on the ground, to stop those rockets being fired into Israel, and if possible to isolate Hamas from the bulk of Palestinian opinion, to sit down at some point, it hopes, with more moderate Palestinian opinion. Briefly, if you can, what chance of these tactics achieving that? Well, I think they are very ill-designed to achieve that. Uh, Remember that Hamas has been offering Israel repeated uses for up to 10 years, and Israel never explored those diplomatic initiatives. Maybe they wouldn't have worked out, but certainly they should have been explored. For six months, there was a ceasefire that basically held, and in which Israel didn't uh, rel uh, relieve the pressure from the blockade, which it was supposed to do. So there were other avenues other than force, and one has to su suspect that Israeli internal politics, as much as anything else, had to do with this, the forthcoming elections in Israel uh, leading the politicians wanted to show their toughness in a pre-election move, period. Richard Falk, forgive me, I'm sure that people in Israel would have something to say about that. We must leave it there for the moment. Richard Falk the UN Special Rapporteur for Human Rights in the Palestinian Territories. Thank you very much indeed.